Hey guys, I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo23. Today we're doing some more backyard reviews. Uh, every time I tape a couple of these, you probably notice I'm wearing the same clothes, so you can kind of tell what days I tape. I'll usually tape two or three a day or something. It's later in the evening, the sun's starting to go down. Once again, it's a beautiful day. It's like 75 degrees out. It's just the perfect, perfect temperature right now. I thought, since we're having such nice weather, I'm going to get my gas guns out, and I'm just going to talk about these a little bit. Um, Today, we're talking about the KWA MP9. Now, I got two of these guys. Uh, this guy, I already got promised to someone who is uh, currently on the Nimitz, so whenever he gets back from, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's uh, somewhere sitting next to Syria, this is going to be his. And let me tell you, it's a nice little gun. I got one mag for each of these, so you know, if I want to just run one of these one day, I got two mags for it. The mags of these guys are like 40 or 50 bucks. They're pretty pricey. But uh, they're... It's not really much to upgrade uh, internally, except for like a low power bolt or uh, uh, inner barrel, stuff like that. Uh, a couple of things I really like about these guys is the folding stocks. I did, uh, this guy has the rail on it, so it's got the vertical grip. I put that on there uh, aftermarket, obviously, but I had to cut a little bit of a chunk out of the stock so that it would actually lock into place when I put this over here. I know there are some, uh, some pretty slim grips you can get that'll uh, allow the stock to actually click into place either way, but I just didn't want to pick up one. They're, you know, another 15, 20 bucks I gotta pull out of my wallet. Uh, aside from this, I just had some fun, put some uh, rail covers on it. Shoot my neighbor's dog here in a second. Got a threaded 14 millimeter negative barrel on here. And it's really nice. We actually put a suppressor on this guy. I've got a, like a nine inch suppressor I put on here before. It's actually really quiet. These guns are known for being extremely loud. And just when you put a suppressor on here, it really makes them surprisingly quiet. Uh, you can get suppressors for these that um, have elongated inner barrels that, that'll up the FPS like crazy. I've heard you can get them up to like 500 or 550 with those. But uh, right now, this guy internally is totally stock. Uh, it shoots a good 200 feet with point threes, which is really nice. These things have really good range and accuracy for how short the barrel is, which is, I'm going to tell you, not very long at all. It's just like having a pistol barrel. But um, this guy is shooting roughly like 400 FPS, which is really great uh, as far as like a field weapon. They're not super heavy, so if you wanted to have this like on your side or hang it off your back for a, uh, a field weapon or like a sidearm for your field gun, that would be great. Now, like I said, I got two of these. This is my uh, field one, which obviously it's already been problems with someone, so I'm putting it aside. This is my CQB one. Now, basically, this guy uh, doesn't have the threaded barrel adapter because those are pretty dang expensive, like 30, 35 bucks. But uh, this one, it's got the low power bolt in it, shooting about 320 feet per second, which is exactly what I want if I'm going to Tacoma Tactical and Tacoma Washington here. Their limit's 350 if you're shooting at guys 10 or 15 feet away. And this guy falls right under that, so I can go up to someone two feet away and they're not going to like me for it, but I can do that. Uh, I hate doing that, but Sometimes when you pop around the corner or if someone's being a total asshole, you just want to do that to them. But aside from that, these guys have a really wicked rate of fire. The rate of fire on these things is really good, actually. A lot of fun. You're going to go through ammo pretty fast on these guys. These 50-round mags will just be gone in a second. But uh, me personally, I really like this one. It is my favorite. Um, been considering selling it. I'm gonna probably ask like 200 for it because it's got the $45 low power bolt and they go for 215 new. Uh, cycles great, like I said, 320 FPS. It's extremely comfortable, very compact. I usually put like a little pistol light on the side here so I can kind of flick it on and off and just annoy the heck out of people. But really, for about $200, these aren't half bad guns. Uh, they're pretty reliable, very consistent. Uh, I've been running these on propane for a while. People say don't run them on propane, but these things do just fine. Um, great guns overall. I'm glad I got two of them. I'm glad I'm getting rid of one of them. It was really nice to have two, and uh, I'll probably have two for a while because this guy's going to be a while getting back. But uh, yeah, these things are a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo Two Three. Still got more guns to come, so stay tuned. Take it easy.